Hello, hello, and welcome to All Air Channel's weekly news update for the week of August 11th through 17th. And, whew, whew, do we got a lot to go over this week. Uh, we're about to be stepping into a very eventful couple of weeks for the channel, with this one being the first, or the one where I'm going to have to make a lot of notes about it. But before we get into that, I'd like to quickly thank my two Kofi supporters uh, at the first tier supporter we have atomic squid and has a double tier supporter we have disastros thank you both very very much for supporting the channel um <clears throat> uh, and if you too would like to support the channel there's a link in the description down below to join my kofi and the first thing i'd like to cover in the news update is actually in regards to that oh uh, boop boop so if you were to click the link below, you'd be brought here to my Kofi. Oh, all this wonderful stuff. Um, but, uh, ooh, hang on. Sorry, slight issue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, there has been some up. Well, first off, uh, I don't remember if I mentioned this. I do now take commissions for pixel art. I only have one slot open at a time because I'd like to have a very open line of dialogue with each person I commission. Uh, but, you know, prices can vary. Feel free to um, DM me before you pay, I'd and we can talk about maybe getting you something. Um, but the thing I want to highlight is that the memberships have uh, updated and changed a little with a new tier. So let's quickly talk about what each of these tiers will get for you. Um, if you join at the first level, supporter, $1 a month, you you will be allowed to request a game you would like me to play that will get added to a unique vote just for the Kofi player, or Go Kofi supporters. This is separate from the series that is picked by the Discord viewers, and will be, you know, a game play, that played specifically to people who donate money, and you will get a shout out as we did at the beginning of this. Anybody who donates money, even as a one-off donation, is going to be able to partake in all Kofi polls. Or not all Kofi polls, but the supporter polls. So you don't need to be a monthly subscriber in order to partake in the votes. You, As long as you give me any money, you can partake in the vote. But if you're a supporter, I will directly ask you what games you want me to add into that, and your request will actually be counted as an extra vote. So if you request a game, has a supporter, and then vote for it, you've just given two votes to that game. And on the topic of two votes is the double supporter. So as a double supporter, you will get two votes on the supporter polls, uh, a you, some unique content relating to Heart of Action, my TTRPG that I've been developing, which you can find the basic rules of on the Discord. Uh, that's I don't have any of that out yet, but it's something I plan on beginning to drip feed out whenever I have the free time. Uh, you will also be allowed to request a game you want to see me play and get a social media shout out. But games requested by a double supporter, if you're following, they get two votes added to them before the poll even begins. So they start with a slight upper hand. And if multiple people suggest the same game, that just means more votes front loaded onto that game. Um, then we have the brand new triple tier supporter, which you need to donate at least 30 bu uh, bucks a month, so, you know. Basic supporter double tier is in the double digits. Triple tier is uh, is doing thirty dollars. Uh, you will get three times the vote on uh, votes on all the active votes. Everybody who is a triple supporter or above will actually get a unique piece of pixel art, which will be placed both in the weekly news updates and maybe on the channel. But I, I, I don't want to guarantee that one. But I will I will display your name with uh, unique pixel art next to it, whereas. Uh, other supporters will merely get a call out or once I get too many to be able to call everybody out They will just get like put down on a list off to the side, you know, like a credit scroll um, You will also get the chance has a triple supporter to design a character to have appear in shadow space So I will reach out to you We can talk and we can hash out a character who will appear as a one-off character in the shadow space campaign and what that character does, the purpose they serve, what they look like, that is a thing that we will discuss. It won't be a major reoccurring character, in all likelihood. But, you know, you might get, like, 
a one-off person who the players meet and haggle with in a shop or who they team up with very, very briefly during a, a segment of a mission, things like that. Um, you'll also get access to the unique HOA content. Potentially, I will lock some of it behind the triple tier, but I don't have any plans to do that currently. Uh, you will get to request a game and you'll get a social media shout out. These are the tiers that are what I call the, the expected tiers. These are the tiers that I expect people will want to do. Below, we have the ridiculous tiers, the dumb tiers, the tiers I don't expect any person to join. First is solid gold for 100 a month. The solid gold people get four votes on everything. They will gain access to exclusive golden votes and they can ask for games for those. So that means that, you know, now that I have some Kofi supporters, once the channel has stabilized and changed, I'm going to hold a vote and all my Kofi supporters will get to pick a game. But the golden voter voters will get an entire additional game I play just for them, the golden supporters. Uh, on top of them being able to partake in the other supporter votes with four votes. The gold tier votes you won't get. I should actually change the wording of this to uh, four times the votes on gen basic polls because you only get one vote on a golden uh uh, one vote for the golden votes, but the same rules and mechanics of how these ones work apply there. Also, I didn't mention it. Triple tier voters, when they suggest a game, will automatically get three votes added in for their name. Um, or for their tier, I mean. But uh, golden voters will also be offered the chance to play games with me live on stream. As I thank you, I will try to reach out to you, talk with you about when I'll be doing games, and you will have the chance to appear in my videos and on the streams, and we can play games together. Right now, it'll most likely be Lethal Company, uh, with the potential of Gary's mod, and in the distant future, I might even do things like Minecraft, once I've gotten stuff set, the infrastructure set up for that. But right now, the go-to thing will probably be Lethal Company, if you own it. Um... Then you will also receive the piece of unique pixel art that the triple tier supporters get, get to design character for shadow space, unique content, etc, etc. And then there's a don't tier, which I don't expect a single fucking human being to join. I don't think you will do it, but they will get all the benefits of a gold tier supporter, as well as getting five votes on the basic things. And I didn't put it here, but I think I'll give them two votes on the gold tier support, maybe even three. Fuck it, I, I don't know. I might give... Uh, I'll figure that out. I don't want to say what's for sure what I'm doing there, because I'm still very much figuring out how what I'm going to do. Like, honestly, keep an eye on the Kofi. You will very, very regularly see this in changing and improving and me giving more things to you. But also, the thing worth know is the first person to do the don't tier, I will just go to you and be like, hey, what game do you want me to play? And I will play it. I don't think anybody's going to join the don't tier. I don't recommend you join the don't tier, but it's there if you want to. <laughs> um, and of course, I try to very regularly make posts over there. Uh, I've already got a preliminary version of next week's schedule. They've already received an early version of the schedule that I'm recording for on this right now. You know, they get earlier access to things all the time. So... It's very much worth it, and a lot of these are viewable. You don't even need to be a monthly subscriber to view a lot of these. Just a one-off donation will give you a peek at some of these things. Um, but some of these are going to become exclusive to, to the full-time supporters very in the very near future. Um, words. So now, with that out of the way... 10 minutes into the weekly news update, let's actually start talking about, you know, the news update stuff. Uh, I say that. Well, real quick, in the description, I mentioned there's already, the, I already mentioned the Kofi. There's also the Discord where you can, there are still going to be the free Discord votes that you can partake in, and I'm still taking suggestions from people who aren't donating to me for games they would want to see me play, and those will get added to that vote. So, you know, uh, if you're a Kofi supporter, you can actually partake in both votes and, you know, increase the odds of a game you want me to play being played. Um, there's also a link to my Twitch where you can watch me record all of this live, yada yada. <laughs> um, and I would like to say, you know, this, this calendar, this schedule system we've been using here, it has served us well for many months now. But 
the time comes for change always, and starting next week, the channel's weekly schedule is going to have a new appearance to it. The Kofi supporters have already seen it and been able to give some input, but the way that this looks, the visual here, is going to be changing in the very near future. Um, along with a number of other little changes that I'll talk about at the end of this recording session. So, now, let's actually talk about this week's videos. Whew, man, this is going to turn out to be a very long weekly news update, I can already tell. So, starting off with Sunless Sunday, oh, hey, and as always, if, if all videos will be between 20 and 30 minutes, if a video is less than that, I'll mention it, if it's more than that, I'll mention it. So, starting off on Sunless Sunday, August 11th, we have episode 43 of Sunless Sea, uh, the, uh, the Simmering South, followed by episode 91 of Death Stranding, Building a New World, and then episode 278 of Tears of the Kingdom, uh, Lightning Temple. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, just double checking to make sure we're still recording. <laughs> I had a panic moment that I wasn't. Then moving on to Aperture Monday, a title which will actually be moving towards retirement in the near future. I'll talk more about that at the end. We have episode 6 of Portal Bridge Constructor, Life. Oh my god, that was a good episode. Oh my god, that's going to be a good episode. I had so much fun recording it. Uh, we will then have episode 13 of Halo 3, uh, Trading One Enemy for Another. Episode... 33 of Hypnospace Outlaw exp er, entering the Freelands. Uh, and that's it for that day. Uh, moving on to August 13th, uh, Tuesday, we have uh, episode 279 of Tears of the Kingdom, Deeper into the Pyramid. Episode 92 of Death Stranding, I'm the Bomb, which is a extra long episode clocking in at an hour and 29 minutes. You guys get a really long one with that. Um, and then we're going to have a... Uh, we're going to have episode 5 of Stardew Valley, Chill Vibes, which is clocking in at 29 minutes, which is close enough to 30 that I'm going to highlight it here. Um, then, moving on to August 14th, Arcane Wednesday. Again, a term which I am going to be in the very near future uh, dissolving. Talking about that more at the end of this. Uh, we have episode 31 of Dishonored the Cannon Run, Boom, followed by episode 14 of Halo 3, Reunited, and then episode 34 of Hypno Space Outlaw, the 29 minute deeper into the Freelands, and we cap off that day with some more Gary's Mod with friends with Murder in Nightmare Church. And with that, I'd like to quickly acknowledge, yes, tomorrow there's not going to be a lethal company like there has been. We've been having a lot of difficulties with recording things, mostly down to microphones and headphones not working for a bunch of us. <laughs> oh, it's been... Ooh, it's been a hassle. <laughs> um, moving on to Nitrum Thursday. Again, a title which is going to be getting retired. Talking about that more at the end of this. We have episode 3 of In the Doghouse, Getting Good. Uh, and after that, we have the extra-long, one-hour-long episode 93 of Death Stranding, War. Whew. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. It's a very... Ew. It's a... Uh, it's a big episode. <laughs> a lot of big episodes this week of Death Stranding. <laughs> after that, we have... Sorry. So I don't edit these, and I usually try to get them done in one take. Sometimes that means I restart it several times, but it leads to fun, dumb moments like that war bit that I'm laughing at myself for. I hope you guys appreciate the off-the-cuff style that I keep with this stuff, because I like to have all my content have that vibe. Um, but yeah, after that, we cap off that day with uh, episode 280 of Tears of the Kingdom, Temple Frustration. Then, moving on to August 16th, Fallout Friday. Uh, again, a term which is going to be slowly moving towards retirement. Talking about that more at the end of this. We have the extra-long, 34-minute, episode 21 of Fallout New Vegas, Broken Road. Which, oh boy. <laughs> Ooh, that episode. <clears throat> After that, we have, again, an extra-long episode of something with, a, with the hour-long, episode 15 of Halo, Tower Climb. Getting this is just a week full of extra long content. I hope you all appreciate it. 
Uh, and then we after that, we have the 20 minute episode 35 of Hypnospace Outlaw safe mode. And then we have uh, episode. Episode six of Shadow Space Max clocking in at three and a half. Well, three hours, 19 minutes, a nice extra long Shadow Space, which is a very very good episode uh some stuff happens some stuff happens we're having some shadow space uh is more and more entering a good arc and like oh if you don't want to watch from the very beginning you can jump in at the first episode which is labeled with broken triangle in the thumbnail uh because that's the current arc we're in and man man is stuff getting good uh, after that, we of course have episode 6.5 of Shadow Space going up on the same day, which is actually doubling up as an art stream. Ooh. And I'm also tuck tucking in one extra little video, a super short eight second video. Uh, that is just a fun little bonus thing. I'll say that. <laughs> uh, going up the same day, so keep an eye out for that. Um... <clears throat> After that, uh, moving on to the 17th with our jam-packed Saturdays, we have uh, our 10th Marble Island Roll Game Dev video, the hour-long episode, The Arch. Uh, after that, we have episode 94 of Death Stranding, Much Needed a Rest, the extra-long 32-minute episode 281 of Tears of the Kingdom, Sage of Lightning, and then the hour-long finale of Halo 3. God. I talk a lot about my feelings of the the Halo trilogy so far in that like a lot of a big chunk of that hour, I'm going to be honest with all of you, is mostly just me gushing about the game after I beat it. But yeah, um after that we have episode 36 of Hypnospace Outlaw, F L I S T, and then we cap off the week uh, it's not really reflected fully on the schedule, but we cap that it off with some Halo art, a 36 minute long video where we make some art for Halo 3, which is represented by my little silhouette sitting there on the Halo 3 uh, thumbnail thing. So now let's talk about the changes I kept acknowledging and part of that has to do with Halo 3 ending. In Halo 3's ending, I mentioned, oh, go and vote, go and vote. I'm going to be starting a new series. But I already talked about this in the previous weekly news update, so many of you probably know. I'm going to start to try and dial back how much content is on the channel. Um, there's a few factors that go into this. Um, one of them is I'm having to get a second job because I'm not be able to keep up with rent currently. Uh, I'm currently on the job hunt for the second job. But... um. That's going to be eating into my time significantly once I'm working that, and I want to pr make preparations for that in advance before it becomes a problem. If you want to try and help with this issue, you know, join my Kofi, pay, pay, help support, help, help, help me reach the the goal of catching up on my rent. I'm behind on rent. I need help. <laughs> uh, honestly, though, just watching the videos helps. And actually more than ever, because we now have 500 subscribers, I am almost viable for receiving ad revenue. I just need 200 extra yearly view hours. So like, just throw on a playlist in the background while you do things or go about your day. Just please give me views. Give me views and I'll be able to make money off YouTube. Holy fuck, it's actually happening. We're at that point. But um, another one of the factors of why we're reducing the amount of content on the channel is I want to expand my content and do bigger things. And the issue is with how jam-packed my schedule is, it's actually very hard to do this. Like, get, like, just for one, recording the Gary's Mod stuff and the Lethal Company stuff and Stardew Valley is all a very big process, bigger than recording the single-player things. But I do think... It makes for more entertaining content when I have my friends there with me. And in order to make time for those things, and sh the tabletop stuff like Shadow Space and Fallout Retold, in order to make time for those things, I'm going to need to record less. And separate from those, I have a number of other big projects in the works that have been in the works for a little while. And if I want to be able to get them done and get them consistently out and show it to all of you, I'm going to need more time. Simple as that. Um, 
And like, I'm sure some of you are going to be like, well, hang on, you're going to start a new game just for the people who are paying you, but you're canceling all the things that were picked by the other people. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm canceling the games because I need to make more time because I'm not making enough money. But if people are going to get, are able to give me money, I one, want to reward them and thank them for being willing to support me. And two, if I make enough off Kofi and ad revenue and all of that, I won't need to get a second job. So, like, the reality of that is those are there to incentivize people to give me the ability to have the free time to record. I don't have enough free time to record the amount of videos I'm recording right now. That's why I'm having to cancel series. Uh, but if people donate money to me, I won't need to get a second job and I will have the free time to run more series. D make sense? It's like the series were going to go away no matter what. But the Kofi is a backdoor for you all to help get the amount of content up again. You know, by donating money, you can make me play up to four games a week again. Because that's what the change is coming down to, or up to four games a day. We are making the switch from four games a day to two games a day. There's going to be a game picked by you guys and a game picked by me. A game picked by the Discord crew and a game picked by me. That is what the this shift in the channel is going to be trying to slowly move towards. Is just two videos a day plus some bonus content. Uh, like, bonus content will be things like the multiplayer stuff with friends. Um, but if people donate money and help my channel stay afloat, then I'll introduce more series again and start recording more things. Like, I really, 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 really hate to be reducing the amount of content on the channel because I love putting out large amounts of videos. I love recording these long videos of me playing games. I love doing all of this stuff. It's just I don't have the time or ability to, you know? And I feel the need to justify it, because, like, I feel bad <laughs> to asking people to donate. And again, you don't need to donate. Just, like, watching the videos can help me financially, because I'll be able to make ad revenue on YouTube soon if I just get some more views. But yeah, um, so... Words. The, the big changes that we're going to be moving towards in regards to that. Again, can you tell these aren't scripted? Uh, now that Halo 3 is done, we're going to be actually doing a little bit of a shuffle in that um, Tears of the Kingdom is going to move into Halo 3's slot and Dishonored the Canon run is going to move into Tears of the Kingdom's slot. So everywhere on here you see Halo is going to be Zelda instead, and everywhere on here you see Zelda is going to be Dishonored instead. Uh, that is partially because Halo... Uh, it's, it's, I've... Meh. I've been keeping Zelda in the slot of a game I picked for me to play when it was actually started because all of you voted for me to play it. But I really was like, listen, I want to play it. You guys want me to play it. I'm going to just put it in the I want to play it slot so that you guys can vote for another game. But now that I'm having to move things around, I'm moving Zelda back into the section of you guys voted for it because that's what it was originally. Um, and I'm moving Dishonored down into the other section, you know, because I, 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 I'm the one who made Dishonored Arcane Wednesday a thing. And that is going, you know, so starting next week, there is no more Arcane Wednesday. There is just going to be Dishonored the Canon run as a major series. And then when we beat it, Dishonored is gone either until you vote for it again or I choose to play it again. Which it sucks because I love playing it, but I need to reduce what's happening on the channel. Uh, then once we beat either Dishonored or Hypnospace Outlaw... I'm going to promote Fallout into the place of that series and remove Fallout Fridays. And then once I beat either Fallout or the other game that was in the slot, uh, like the mirroring slot, I'm going to promote, promote Portal Bridge Constructor and get rid of the Aperture Monday slot. Sunless Sea is going to stay around and be a Sunday exclusive series because it's a fun calming game that i usually will record like an entire month's worth in a chill night when i'm usually high <laughs> um and the unreal series is going to stick around on saturdays because i really want to play fucking i really want to make my own game and um 
Nitrum Thursday is going to be going away very soon when we beat In the Doghouse. In the Doghouse is going to be the last Nitrum Thursday game, and then Nitrum's going to go on hiatus for a while until either all of you vote for it, or I decide I want to play it as the one game I pick, or Kofi people vote on it, or whatever. Yeah, I hope I've made sense in my inane ramblings today. And... I hope you've all enjoyed the content I have. Again, I'm so sorry we're having to reduce things, but like, it's ultimately, again, because I need more for, more time for work, and also, it's to help feed into potential major improvements on the channel, and because like, there's a lot of things I want to get going, and a lot of it requires a lot of time. Like, yeah, again just the lethal company stuff if i want to be playing lethal company more on the channel with my friends that requires a whole lot of setup time to just get one episode out sometimes um yeah i i want i, ha I have other things in the works that i really 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 want to get out there um i've been talking with a lot of my friends about like i'm gonna go ahead and say it right now I want to do another tabletop campaign, separate from Shadow Space and separate from uh, the Fallout one. Uh, and I'm trying to get everything ready for that, but, you know, that takes time. Ow. I have something in my eye. Now, the tabletop stuff is something that I like, truly love to do and record for, record and put out there, and I really hope all of you enjoy it. But yeah, I I guess I've said everything I need to in this week's weekly news update. I hope you all look forward to the content to come. I hope you all look forward to the new schedule starting next week. And I love all of you very, very much. And ta-ta for now.